Yeah, Steve, Chief Patterson is concerned about these trends, and since she got here to the capital city, she has made it her mission to bring violent crime down. Clearly, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, not just from RPD. She's calling on community members to do their part. We also found one man who's jumping in to help. If you don't like what you're seeing, you're going to do something about it. Connor Hanna is trying to do something about all the violence, and the father of two would know. He's an ex-gang member who just served two years, and now he's trying to make the streets of Raleigh safer. These are the things that I'm going to be getting on because I know they can relate coming from, you know, because I know how to relate to them, but I'm trying to also uplift them and motivate them. It's heartbreaking every single time that these type of things happen. The Halloween night shooting that killed 16-year-old Millbrook High School student Xavion Lawton broke a lot of people's hearts. It also kicked off another debate about violence in the capital city. We're choosing to behave this way. We're choosing to accept these things. Gerald Givens has experienced his share of loss from gun violence. The president of the Raleigh Apex chapter of the NAACP is working with the city on solutions to a growing epidemic. As we look at the numbers across the whole entire country, we see that there is a rise in violent crime all across America. The data is from the major cities chiefs association. 70 agencies from Dallas to Houston to Raleigh responded and overall violent crime is up. Homicides nationally are actually down 4% compared to the same time period last year, but they are 44% higher than what the organization saw in 2019. Quote, without question, the numbers are completely unacceptable, and the number of victims, families, and communities impacted is unacceptable. It is my priority that we're looking very strongly at how do we prevent it, first of all, and then also to how we make sure that the community is involved in, in, in that prevention. Chief Stella Patterson responded to the report in this YouTube video. She said the number of homicides are up, and that's problematic. She also talked about a number of different solutions, including intelligence-led policing and engaging and partnering with the community. It's the homicides that we really want to focus on to try to prevent those. They got to change. I don't know where it's going to change. It's just, you know, you know we, we as people help each other. You know, it's, gonna, it's not going to be easy. I know it's going to be some people there's resistance, that's, you know, because I was like that when I was 14, 15. Clearly not an easy fix. Connor is in a halfway house now, but he is determined to start this nonprofit to try and talk to other teens, talk them out of joining a gang like he did. Gerald Givens from the NAACP working on a group of violence interrupters. We've seen this in Durham, but trying to bring that violence interrupters here to the capital city. Those are the folks that go into communities to try and prevent violence before it happens. Stephen Lauren, back to you. Yeah, we all have a small part to play in this uh, big issue that's affecting our community. Josh Chapin, thank you.